Hello students, welcome back to TG campus. In the series of issue of shares, in this video we are going to see another important concept and that is nothing but forfeiture of shares. In this video we are going to cover so what is meaning of forfeiture of shares and which accounting entries we have to pass for recording forfeiture of shares. So let's begin. Failure to pay call money results in a forfeiture of shares and forfeiture of shares is action taken by a company to cancel the shares. So what does it mean? So for example, there is one shareholder who is holding 5000 number of shares of the company and he failed to pay final call money of rupees 2 per share. Company send him reminder letters two or three times. Even after sending a reminder letters, he unable to make the payment of final call money of rupees 2 on his holding of 5000 number of shares. So now only one option left in front of company is to cancel down his share holding and that is nothing but forfeiture of shares. So on the occasion of forfeiture of shares, A is no longer will be the member of the company, his name will be removed from the register of members of the company, right? And that is nothing but forfeiture of shares. Now we have to see which accounting entries we have to pass when there is a forfeiture of shares. See here. See, whenever you have to cancel the shares, then you have to debit share capital account. In my example, one shareholder who is holding 5000 number of shares, he unable to make the payment of final call money of rupees 2 and that's why we are forfeiting his holding, right? So when you are forfeiting any holding of shareholder, you have to debit share capital account, right? If you remember when you issue shares, you credit share capital account, right? Now if you are cancelling shares, you have to debit share capital account, right? For a total called up value of that share, right? So in my example, number of shares are 5000 and total called up value is 10 rupees. So what is total called up value basically? So one share price is rupees 10 and company is issuing share at rupees 10 only. And in my example, company called entire 10 rupees from the shareholder. So that 10 rupees is nothing but my called up value per share. So 5000 multiplied by 10, I will be getting answer 50,000 rupees. Then after this, now I need to see the amount that I've received from the shareholder so far, so that I need to credit to the share forfeiture account. So in my example, we unable to get 2 rupees from that shareholder. So out of 10 rupees, if we unable to get 2 rupees from the shareholder, it means I have received 8 rupees from him. And that 8 rupees is a gain of my company that I need to transfer towards share forfeiture account. So I need to credit share forfeiture account for 5000 multiplied by 8, it comes to 40,000 rupees. Right? And I need to credit the money that I have not received from him. In my example, I unable to receive final call money of rupees 2. So I will be creating equity share final call account. So I will be creating share final call account 5000 number of shares multiplied by 2, it becomes 10,000 rupees. Right? So Suppose uh, if you are not able to get allotment money or any first call money, then accordingly you have to credit the same. See here, share allotment account and share first call account. So this is nothing but general entry for forfeiture of the shares. Sir, after that, when all amounts due on allotment, first call and final call have been transferred to the call in areas account, then entry will be. So what does it mean? It means you are having a two options. Either you can credit the individual accounts that money for the same that you have uh, not received or you can treat it as call in areas and you will be opening call in areas account right if you're opening a call in area account then which entry you have to pass so entry will be share capital account for a called up amount so 5000 number of shares multiply by 10 so it will remain same 50000 rupees instead of recording two final call account 
we are considering it as a call in arrears we are opening here call in arrears account and we are crediting call in arrears account here so instead of recording what instead of recording that particular amount that you are unable to get you will be considering it as a call in arrear right so call in arrear account 5000 number of shares multiplied by 2 that is nothing but 10000 rupees and you have to credit share forfeiture account for the amount that you have received so far 5000 number of shares multiplied by 8 40000 rupees right then so after these now we have to see accounting for issue of shares at a premium you have to understand here when company issue shares at a premium and today's company forfeiting those shares then there are two cases either company received premium amount and then forfeiture is happening or premium amount is not received and accordingly we have to pass the general entry now first of all we have to see for example if a premium not received then which entry we have to pass that we have to see so for example there is one shareholder mr a holding 1000 number of shares company called application money rupees 2 from him allotment money rupees 5 from him so far company issued these shares at a premium and face value of that one share is rupees 10 and company issued these shares at issue price of rupees 12 and 2 rupees of securities premium is included in this allotment money of 5 and company called how much so company called so far application money and allotment money only that shareholder paid application money of rupees 2 on his 1000 number of shares but he failed to pay 5 rupees of allotment money and that's why company took a decision to forfeit his shareholding so which entry we have to pass see here whenever a premium is not received we have to first of all debit share capital account for a called up value so what is called up value here sir total amount called by company on these shares so far is application money rupees 2 plus 5 rupees of allotment money so total money called so far is 7 rupees but the 7 rupees is not my called up capital so what is my called up capital sir in this 5 rupees there are two amounts involved 2 rupees towards securities premium securities premium reserve and 3 rupees towards capital so when we are discussing about we have to debit share capital account for a called up capital value then we have to consider only a capital portion so capital portion here is 2 rupees of application money and 3 rupees of allotment money right at a time of allotment we are calling 3 rupees of a capital amount so 3 plus 2 5 so we have to debit what we have to debit share capital account for a called up value and that is nothing but 1000 number of shares multiply by 5 so we have to debit for 5000 rupees share capital account now sir we unable to get securities premium amount as well because sir that securities premium amount is involved in this 5 rupees of allotment money right and 5 rupees of entire allotment money we are unable to receive from the shareholder so i can say we are unable to get securities premium as well so that securities premium account we have to debit for a securities premium amount 1000 number of shares multiplied by 2 so i need to debit 2000 rupees securities premium account then then i need to credit share forfeiture account for the amount that i have received so far sir so far i have received two rupees of application money from the shareholder so i need to credit forfeited shares account 1000 number of shares multiplied by two so i have received 2000 rupees so far right and sir the money that i haven't received and that is nothing but share allotment money this five rupees i haven't received right so that I need to credit, see here, share allotment account, I need to credit 1000 number of shares multiplied by 5, it comes to 5000 rupees, right? So what we have to do, we have to debit share capital account for a called up value, 
then we have to debit securities premium account because you haven't received that amount from the shareholder so we have to cancel it down so for that we have to debit securities premium account then we have to credit share forfeiture account for the amount that we received so far right so here amount received on a forfeited share so far and we have to and we have to credit the amount that we haven't received that is nothing but share allotment account this entry we have to pass when premium is not received now we have to discuss about forfeiture of shares when premium is already received so when we are discussing about forfeiture of shares on which premium amount is already received so general entry is same as to the issue of shares at par right because the premium amount that you have already received on issue of shares that you are not going to repay right so which entry we have to pass here so entry will be share capital account debit for a called up value then you have to credit the amount that you haven't received right so suppose you haven't received share allotment account so you have to credit share allotment account for amount due but not paid if you are uh, unable to get first call money then you have to do you have to credit first call money if you are unable to get final call money you have to credit final call money and finally you have to credit share forfeiture account and that is nothing but amount that you have received so far you have to credit so for example i am continuing with the same example mr a was there he was holding 1000 number of shares company is calling at a time of application rupees 2 at a time of allotment rupees 5 including premium amount of rupees 2 because we issued the shares of a face value of rupees 10 at issue price of rupees 12 so it means 2 rupees of securities premium involved here right then company is calling first call money of rupees 2 and final call money of rupees 3 and that particular shareholder is unable to make the payment of final call money of rupees 3 right that a unable to make the payment of 3 rupees of final call money it means he paid application money allotment money first call money right so in this allotment money of rupees 5 2 rupees of premium is involved so we have received a premium amount from him right so which entry we have to pass now so simply we have to debit share capital account for called up value so what is total called up value so total called up value here is 10 rupees because i have called enter amount so i will be debiting 10 1000 rupees so i will be debiting 1000 number of shares multiply by 10 10000 rupees here then so which money we are unable to get so we are unable to get final call money of rupees 3 so that final call money of rupees 3 we have to credit to share final call account 1000 number of shares multiply by 3 and that is nothing but 3000 rupees right and the money that we have received so far so that we have to credit towards share forfeiture account and that is nothing but 1000 number of shares multiply by 7 it come to 7000 rupees right so this entry we have to pass when premium is already received it is similar to issue of shares at par hope you understood this hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos as well thank you